In a renewed push against corruption within Nigeria's financial sector, investigative journalists and coalition members have been urged to intensify scrutiny of financial policies and regulations. They made the call during a two-day training session in Port Harcourt, organized by the Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Center for Fair Finance Nigeria and funded by Oxfam, Oxfam aimed at bolstering participants' understanding of Nigeria's financial policies and their impact on economic stability and transparency. The training emphasized the essential role that financial institutions play in economic development while also highlighting their vulnerability to misuse in activities like money laundering and terrorist financing. Objectives for this training are to increase the understanding of coalition members and investigative journalists of selected policies within the Nigeria financial institutions in Nigeria to provide coalition members and investigative journalists with the skills they need to investigate these policies and identify potential violations, to build a network of coalition members and investigative journalists who can collaborate on issues related to financial crimes in Nigeria. We aim to deepen our understanding of the financial landscape in Nigeria with a special focus on policy, policies critical to promoting transparency, accountability and the fight against financial crime. Speakers at the event addressed the importance of financial regulations and effective oversight, asserting that although Nigeria has strong financial regulations, they are often compromised by neglect and collusion. All these affects everything you think about our system and our financial services. Cross-border co collaboration, field and observational reporting, social media and public tips using leaked documents. Analyzing financial data and documents becomes very, very important for us as citizens. The essence of doing this is to give us insight of our current financial situation. Also give us ideas to make projection for where we want to be and strategize on how we are going to get there. Because we need finances to deliver on those promises. There is need for the NGOs to um, come together. Maybe we have NGOs that focus on accountability that when journalists carry out this report, they can perhaps write petition and submit this report that we have done with, together with their petition through, to the ICPC and the EFCC. The training concluded with a communique highlighting key findings on the need for stronger financial oversight and the importance of public awareness of financial policies. Strengthened financial oversight is essential for economic stability. Effective financial policies, particularly in anti-money laundering and counter-terrorism financing uh, and consumer protection are central to sustaining Nigeria's economic stability and encouraging investment. Uh, investment. However, we note that inconsistent enforcement and compliance issues hinder the full realization of these benefits. Secondly, public awareness and financial policies is limited. The limited understanding of financial policies among the public impedes the effectiveness of consumer protection and financial inclusion initiatives. Uh, importance of data privacy in financial policies. Policies relying on biometric and digital data like, like the bank verification number uh, initiative have been instrumental in reducing financial fraud but also raise concerns about data privacy and protection. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.